<clears throat> Hello. Welcome back, everybody. Well, I got a deal I couldn't pass up on chain. 40463 gauge. So, I did the liberty of opening the box and everything, but I haven't gone through this one yet. But this right here. Oil Matic Steel 12.42 feet chain. Full comp, full chisel. That's RS stuff, I'm told. It's like rapid cut and everything, so that I'm pretty happy about. And then I've got a total of what I'm told, eight foot of Oregon that was tossed in. Brand new and back and everything, and uh, not sure if it's skip or what. And, uh, oh, sorry. I'm kind of looks like it might be skip tooth. I'm not sure. Can't see. Yeah, it looks like it's a skip tooth. No, I don't know. Yeah, see, there it is, right there. So we got. Got, come on, focus. We've got one here, none, none, and then we've got one. So, skip tooth. Awesome. Uh, oh, that's nice to have. <laughs> McCullough. And of course, everybody knows that's one of the chainsaws I collect. And here I've got some. Uh... Yeah, it's been it's been a long day. Straps for them. To hook together. Yep, more chain. All in unopened bag. Focus camera. So I was told I had a total of eight foot of this that was coming toward to me. Yeah, it's it's definitely. Is this skip tooth or not? I'm not sure. I hate the uncertainty. No, it's not. No. Okay, well, I'll get a closer look at it, but, alright, so, there's that, and I know, I've never messed with Silver Streak Chain before, of any sort, so, I know it's made in China, and some people would say, oh, it's cheap, so, alright, let's see what else he tossed in here for me, <laughs> more Oregon Chain, let's see what goodies is in there, 404, 63, I mean, it was one heck of a deal I couldn't pass up personally. So, round ground chisel. There's some info for y'all. People that are learning, kind of sort of like me on stuff. So, round ground chisel, stuff like that, micro, and so on and so forth. So, let's see what kind of goodie this is. Lots to choose from. Yep, more skip tooth. Awesome. So that'll be good for whatever application I decide, which I've got something else on the way tomorrow coming for me. I mean, I've got all this chain, but I don't have bars too many to put on yet. So, more. Would this really be true chipper chain? Like actual true chipper? So I've got some outside. Looks like semi chisel. What's the back say on it? What kind of this is? I have no idea. There's square ground, micro bit, ripping chain. Okay, we'll look at the numbers here 96, 404, number 51. Yeah, I don't know. I'm having one of them days. 96, I'll look into it and everything later. I just know there was a bunch of chain that was on its way to me. So, it says chipper chain, and well, that's pretty much the some of the best stuff you can really get your hands on. I'm told they don't even make chipper anymore, but oh, and more goody. <laughs> you guessed it, more chain. 404. Wow. Looks like some really big links on them, but anyways, um, oh, this one looks like it's square ground. Now that's what I'm talking about. I've never 
operated a square ground or anything. I know, terrible video. I'm not even really looking. I guess I should be looking at the screen while I'm doing, but... I've never actually ran a saw with square ground. I'm told it's very fast cutting, but it dulls really, really quick. Genius packaging or whatever. Uh, you know what? Your guess is as good as mine, guys. Some somebody packaged. Yeah, that is square ground. That's gonna be some fun stuff. All right, so we've got some square there. Make sure that other stuff is. Was this square ground or not? I mean, I noticed it immediately. No. So we've got almost chipper chain here. Square ground, which I've never dealt with. Uh, no, hold on. We may have more square ground. Now that first package, that first box of it, uh, or again, I took out. Square ground. Hmm. Well, they say to each his own on that stuff. But So I've got a couple boxes of square ground. That's going to be pretty nice. What to put it on? What to put it on? And the stuff I'm quite curious about. Okay, six and a half minutes of yammering already. Ugh. He had some McCullough chain and uh, he only had a little bit left of it. So I couldn't justify destroying it even though I probably should have. Said he's sending me a bunch of stuff or whatnot. Silver streak. I'm not sure what all, unless that's just packaging that he threw in or something. Not sure. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well. Anyways. Now what I know he did say he was sending was a bunch of these. More straps. It says there, these are ones, these are silver streak ones. So, straps and the actual chain itself here. Brand new roll of 25 foot 40463 silver streak made in China. And I've never really used it, actually, I've never, but for what he was selling it for I couldn't pass it up it was cheaper than eBay would have ever imagined it so semi chisel chisel machine but there we go it's looks to be semi chisel to me so not too worried no no yeah my bad. There it is. Semi chisel standard. 25 foot of it. My first 25 foot roll of chain. All this totaling here, from what I've, uh, from my understanding, I've got like 74 or 76 feet of chain. So I should have plenty to keep me busy between all this and all these. So, it's going to kind of be heartbreaking to use these, you know. Because you don't see that anymore. So, alrighty. Well, I should have another video tomorrow of everything I've got and whatnot. Because I'm just going to give a little detail. I've got a bar on the way with a chain already. Steel chain for it already. So, now I can finally get some of my gear drives and a couple of other saws up and going good with long bars. I just hate high CC saws with tiny bars. So, now to figure out, what am I going to use the square ground for? I guess I'll ask around. So, alright, like I say, thanks for watching.